Hey, Jess. <laughs> you got the giggles already. Time to uh, enjoy some great tasting food. Uh, Curtis will be our next guest. I think you do that, Jess. So <laughs> it's like this scene, right? When we. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. It works, we, doesn't it? It does work. <laughs> Pretty soon I'll catch on. We've been looking forward to this all morning long. Chef Anane Kamisiong from Firebirds Wood Fired Grill is here with a Boom. beer cheese dip and a grilled mahi taco dish. We welcome you to the live show. It's great to see you. Well, great to see you, Chef. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure to be here. I'm going to show you our Parmesan, uh, I'm sorry, our beer cheese infused with Sam Adams pretzels. Mm. Got a little bit of jalapenos in there, a little mm -hmm. bit of green onions, lightly sprinkled with salt. We uh, infuse it with Sam Adams, pepper jack cheese, American cheese, a little bit of milk, a little bit of flour, a little bit of minced jalapeno. <laughs> I'm sold. Yeah. We'll dive right in. Yeah, those, I'm sold, right? Next we have those our mahi tacos, right which there. I'm actually going to cook up for you today. And, and Chef, um, oh boy, it's like a two for one. You get the beer and pretzel all rolled into all one. All at once. You know? perfect, perfect for March Madness. So come mm. on down, watch the game. We have a uh, happy hour seven days a week now. Four to uh, seven during the week, one to five on Sunday. Sneak in, catch a tournament game. We got great appetizers, mm -hmm. discounts on drinks. Sneak in, just like I did. Nobody even saw that happen, <laughs> nope, not right? Enough. You gotta see it. Can we do this again? Uh, chef, can we get this? Look at, look at this. It's all in the wrist. Oh, look at that. What do we got? It's at, we got it's our at a mahi perfect tacos type. with a little bit of steak can we, can we season yeah. that again? Look at, look at, check it out. All right, watch, ready? Cool. Up, yeah. What is that? <laughs> I want to try. I it. Can I do it or will they be overseas? No. All right, yeah, I don't man. have the fancy gloves, but. Wrist good. up, elbow back. I feel like Karate Kid. <laughs> right? Salt on, salt off. Salt on, salt off. <laughs> we'll build the tacos with a little bit of uh, taco slaw. This is white cabbage with our signature cider slaw dressing. Yum. You know, Chef, if you're going to be doing these at home, what should a person be looking for in terms of mahi mahi? You want to get as fresh as possible. We have plenty of uh, farmers markets down in Virginia, 18th Street Market with fresh fish. You want uh, a nice, cool complexion. You don't want anything old. To me, fresh fish is always the best fish, mm -hmm. nothing frozen. When you freeze fish, it loses a little bit of that flavor. What, what about the texture? You want it to be light and flaky, especially when it's done cooking, it should break apart. When you start seeing the juices come out of the fish, you've overcooked it. Mm. Overcooked, okay. And I was surprised, Chef, to see it in almost the, the links that you have or cut filleted that way, because I would think, like with a taco, that they're in little bits, but it probably mm. doesn't, it probably overcooks too easily. Now, the reason we have this particular link is so you get a full bite of mahi through mm. the entire taco, yeah. start to finish. So you don't and get I, cheated and just get a slaw bite. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> sometimes that happens. Every yeah. bite, pack with flavor at fibers. I love it. Bold flavors is what we do. What do you like to season it with? Uh, this is our fiber steak seasoning. Mm -hmm. Fiber steak seasoning. Yes, so sir. It's, it's, it's very versatile. Yes, sir. Multi-use. Yeah. I would think with the steak, it would be kind of like heavy or dense, but yes. it works here for the no. fish. Lightly seasoned with the fish. A little sprinkle. A little, little Good action. to go. I like it. A little karate kid. Karate just kid. That's that. the karate right. Karate kid. All right, don't mind if I do. Uh, Greg, is that you, a double dip? You should, no, I flipped it around. Okay, you flipped it I'm around. I'm no George Costanza. George from Seinfeld no. will be proud. You need to get in there because it's got uh, a little heat. You know how you like Does the it? heat, yeah? I can't little, do beer. A little, little bit of pepper oh. jack, a little bit of <laughs> jalapenos. Bit. Really? Yes, sir. A little kick? Now we're going to build this with our avocado pico. Avocado pico is fresh avocados, red onions, tomatoes, cilantro, salt, pepper, a little bit of uh, vinegar. Now what sets our pico apart is jicama. Jicama is probably one of the best vegetables that jicama? nobody is talking yeah. about. Yeah, what is that? Jicama is a Mexican uh, vine similar to a beet. It's got probably the texture of a pear, but the taste of a, a savory apple, if you would. It's one of the best things that nobody's really using, but at Firebirds, it's what sets our pico apart from everybody else's. Interesting. Who knew? Is that a, you said it's a vegetable? Yes, it's a vegetable. Readily available? Where can we find these? You can probably get it at Wegmans, I would say. Mm -hmm. It might not be readily available at a Walmart per se, but your higher end supermarkets. You should definitely get out there and check it out. Come it's one of those look at that. it's yeah. one of those ones that when you find it, you'd say, What do I do with this? But then it's surprisingly Once you tried, so versatile, put it right? In everything. In yeah. everything. Awesome. And we're gonna top this with a little bit of sriracha sour cream. Oh, you mm -hmm. had Greg at sir. For a nice <laughs> punch. <laughs> I love it. Well, what a bunch of flavors going on here, Chef. And I do really like the idea of getting that bite of fish in every bit of the taco. Tell us about the, is it guacamole in here as well? Avocado. 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 So, so tell us about having to make that. Our Pretty fresh, easy? Uh, yeah, fresh pico. We dice it every morning, fresh vegetables. 
like I said, red onions, mm -hmm. tomatoes, cilantro, salt, pepper, a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of oil, and then the jicama. The jicama is the key. It's going to give it That's a nice secret, crunch, right? nice sweet, savory taste to it. Chef, I got to ask you, ask you for a secret. When you make this delicious beer sauce, switching gears, right, mm -hmm. when you're doing this, how do you get it to stay so smooth? I feel like whenever I try to do a cheese sauce, it gets clumpy. Was there a secret? Yeah, the secret is to keep stirring, keep turning it, keep it at a low heat so you don't scorch it. Mm -hmm. Keep it in motion, low and slow, that's the key. It is delicious, Low and slow. Too. That is interesting, though, that you say that, Jess, because that's something that you find if you're at home. You just need to find that right mixture. Um, how long should that be on the stove? 15 minutes, I'd say. Oh, so it's not that long, which no, is great. You could do long. it for a party kind of as yeah. you're ready, but just don't rush it. Yeah, a little bit of uh, jalapenos, saute those down, blend your cheeses, pepper jack, cheddar, a little bit of flour for a roux mm -hmm. to thicken up mm -hmm. the sauce, a little bit of milk, stir it all together, add your beer, cook it off, good to go. How much beer? And what would you recommend? There's so many different beers now, to look, choose from. I mean, if you chef. are, we use Sam Adams. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend too much beer, but hey, mm -hmm. if you know your team just lost on a buzzer beater, you might want to put in a little <laughs> bit more beer. You can or just infuse the cheese dip. Drink the beer first. <laughs> and chef, you use Mark the, sadness. That's right, Mark. You use this. The um, I was going to say use the sadness. You use this delicious uh, mahi for the tacos. What if I'm at home and I've got some beautiful fresh shrimp? Is there, you know, do these flavor, can you sub the Absolutely. protein? Absolutely. We also have a shrimp taco on the menu. Mm. It's just See? as good. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Well, All Chef, right. thank you so much. We're going to dig should in we, right yeah, here. Should we do a little quality Help yourself. control? Yeah, go for it. Tell yeah, me what you think. This gonna, oh, here it goes. Do you see, look, do you see what's happening here? This is going to oh, go everywhere. Man. Do okay. it. Do it. Do it. Mm. Uh-oh. <laughs> mm. That is a sign of a good taco. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something.